Ooh, all right, everyone. It's another beautiful grand day here in Stardew Valley. Let's go ahead and uh, check the weather report very quickly. Uh, weather report for tomorrow is uh, a beautiful sunny day. That's not too bad. The fortune teller. What does the fortune teller have to say? Uh, the spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. I haven't had a lot of luck on um, foraging, though. So uh, let's go ahead and check out the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook, this week's dish, Radish Salad. There is nothing like a fresh, peppery radish. It reminds me of the late of the late spring. My mother would slice up our fresh radishes and serve them on grainy bread with a light salt and pepper. Ah, there, those were the days. But I digress. Now watch closely. You learned how to cook radish salad. That's interesting. Um, I don't know how useful it is. <laughs> um, I'm still pretty salty over the stupid, uh... Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes! Our, um, our crops have turned over. This is great. Our strawberry crops have turned over. We can go ahead and harvest stuff up. I'm still pretty salty over the frickin' uh, minigame for, um, the, what you call it, uh, uh, fishing. I still hate the, uh, the fishing minigame. I don't like it one bit. It's terrible. Alright, come on. We need to water up all of these wonderful crops here. Uh, so we can keep uh, raking it in. Uh, we've got more green beans on the way. I think I'm going to be able to... Uh, I think I'm going to get another turn uh, turnover on the uh, strawberries at least once more before the spring is over. And then once the spring is over, I'll be... Um, I'll, you know, make some progress as far as, what you call it, uh... I completely forget what on earth I was trying to say. Either way, um, the, uh, strawberries are about to turn over. I'm gonna have to look into, you know, what the most profitable crops are to grow during the summer. Oh! How did I not notice that we have mail? <laughs> you got mail. Uh, and I just didn't see it for some bizarre reason. Anyways, um... Come on. Water the right tile. Here we go. Okay, that's all done. We've got a bunch of strawberries to uh, sell off. I'm gonna go ahead and hop up in here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and... ...stash most of it, and uh, we're gonna give... Uh, we're going to deposit uh, the rest of it into the chest. While we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and deposit this sunfish over at the community center, because I'm pretty sure, certain that it's needed for something. Uh, William, I found this recipe in a magazine, and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me give me a taste if you make it, hee <laughs> hee. Shane, new cooking recipe, strange bun. So, do I have an option for the strange bun? Red mushroom, purple mushroom, moral, and cartharel? Huh, weird. Anyways, I'm going to deposit the um, strawberries into the chest there, as well as the green beans. Um, let's just... It's a little bit early. I don't think anybody's really out of their houses yet. So let's do a little bit of a round, check the notice board, see if there's anything for me to do. <clears throat> and we'll also, also make a trip up to the... Oh my god, I completely forgot. I have geodes. Okay, so I'm going to check the notice board, um, deposit some stuff at the community center, and go see Clint. Hello, Clint. I got a copper axe! Yay! Alright, so, uh, I received a copper axe, now let's process these geodes. Um, got one. Got an earth crystal. Two. Uh, I uh, already got that. Got some clay out of this one. And that, I've already got something out of it. Damn. Alright, so, nothing super fancy and amazing there. Uh, I could hold on to these things, I could get rid of them. I think I'm gonna hold on to them for now, and I'm gonna, like, do a proper check of, like, whether or not people like this stuff. I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know how it plays out with gemstones and whatnot. And I still have my frickin' bamboo fishing pole. So I could feasibly, um, go check out the, uh... I could feasibly do some more fishing, but I I mean, it's... <laughs> I've been very clear that I don't like it, even though, like, I get it, it's a game. Um, I'm, there's a good chance that I'm gonna have to do, you know, stuff with it, no matter what. A sea urchin, slow, moving, spiny, something. I think that it's possible for me to turn this in somehow over at the, fi uh, the community center? I don't know. I actually don't, I, li I, I literally do not know if it is possible. Eh, 
whatever. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and check uh, out. What is it? I think. I think now that I'm a. Uh, if I check the social information, because I'm too. Oh my god! I got three hearts with Shane for giving him that. That's a big surprise. Okay. Well, Leah is single, uh, and I've got two hearts with her. I think that this means. I'm pretty sure that with two hearts, I, you can go and uh, meet someone or go into their uh, room or house or whatever. So I'm going to give that a shot right now. She's in here. I'm, I'm, I'm friendly enough with her. No messages. Man, what's this? How to deal with overbearing people. <laughs> okay, but what have we got here? It's a work in progress. It's a stack of Leia's paintings. It's mostly landscapes and studies of nature. It's a wooden sculpture Leia's working on. It has a wonderful cedar smell. Huh. I, I, I'm pretty sure that some sort of a... I, I'm pretty sure that for every two hearts you get in a relationship, a new, um, a new cutscene triggers. So I'll probably have to go up in there. Uh, go up into her... <laughs> I need to stop putting it that way. I need to go into her room whenever she's there, I think. But she's obviously not there, so I don't know where on earth Lig could be. She's around somewhere, I'm certain of that. Anyways. Let's see, uh... I think I, I, I'm... Okay, so, we're gonna give this, uh, this new copper axe of mine, uh, a trial run here. I need to deposit some stuff, uh, back at home. I should probably take my sword with me, because I think, um, I know that there's an area off to the, uh, west. Uh, of the, you know, south of my farm here that I should be able to get into. But first, I want to give this uh, copper axe a dry run and I want to try to remove some of these massive freaking stumps from my property. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. But first, we need to deposit materials. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Three, four, five, six, seven. Takes seven. Oh, and hey, I got hard wood out of it. <laughs> my wood is so hard. No, um... Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, I've got all of the freaking hard wood that I need to finish off the construction bundle. I'm gonna hop right over to the community center and turn this in now. Alright, so I went out, uh, I came here and I found out that I didn't have enough hard wood, and I had to go back and chop down some more stumps, um, but I also found out that the section of the forest that I thought I was going to be able to access, um, I actually don't, I don't have access to yet, so. <laughs> anyway, we've got enough wood, the bundle is complete, uh, what is our surprise for this? A charcoal kiln. Well, hey, we don't have to craft one now, that's nice, but we've also unlocked something else. The question is, what have I unlocked? Um... The bulletin board? Well, we've got the time tonight, and I mean, I'm I'm almost completely out of energy. There's no need for me to be really all that concerned. Hey, man. What if I, uh... What if I... <laughs> Anyways, um... Let's check out the bulletin board and see what type of tasks we have to complete here. So, uh, Chef's Bundle. Takes a poppy, maple syrup, fiddlehead fern, truffle, fried egg, maraki... Wow. Um... What do we have here? Wheat, hay, and an apple, and some apples. Enchanter, oak resin, wine, rabbit's foot, and a pomegranate. This is some really bizarre things. Field research. Purple mushroom, a shell, a cherub, a, ch a chub, wow, uh, and a frozen geode. These are some really bizarre things to grab. Red mushroom, ah, sea urchin, that I can get. Uh, I have one of those already. Uh, red cabbage, aquamarine, sunflower, and a duck feather. I don't know where to get half of this stuff here, but, um... Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, I guess what I'm gonna end up doing next is, uh, taking the charcoal kiln and, uh, just putting it somewhere. I don't know where I'll put it, but I mean, I'm pretty sure, uh, turns 20 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. So, it's pretty flat and obvious what this is for, but, I mean, I don't know why I would do that whenever I've got more than enough coal right now. Uh, for that matter, I don't know how much coal it takes to make, like, iron or something. Oh, hey, Abigail. Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. At 9.30 on Sunday and you haven't done it yet? Oh. What's this? It's Shane. Up late, huh? Here. 
Have a cold one. Ugh, life. You ever feel like, no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day? I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. <laughs> huh. Fast drinker, huh? Man after my own heart. Just don't make it a habit. You got a future ahead of you still. Well, my life's begging me not to stop. Better call it a night. My liver's begging me not to stop. Better call it a night. See you around, Will. He's a man who's definitely got some problems. He's seen things, that's obvious. He's like he's like a grizzled war vet almost, but I'm pretty sure it has more to do with uh, working a dead-end job. Pfft. Anyhow, um, let's go ahead and hop down across the river and see if there are any sort of spring onions. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and we'll see what the next day brings us. Holy bamoly, that's amazing! Welcome everyone, welcome to another wonderful day here on Strife Farm. Oh my god, look at the money that I made. 2,820, like, I made like 1,500 gold off of all the strawberries I sold. It's freaking amazing! Alright, let's check the weather report for tomorrow. Uh, partially cloudy with light breeze, expect lots of pollen. Okay, so no rain tomorrow. Uh, what is the fortune teller saying? Uh, spirits are very happy. They'll do my their best to shower everyone with good fortune. That's also great. Living off the land. Um, get your hands on a fishing pole and sell your catch. Fishing is a great way to make a little extra cash when you have some downtime. The distance your your bobber lands from any dry land determines what kind of fish you'll hook, as well as the location, season, time of day, and weather. So, nothing I didn't know already. Uh, anyway. That's that for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get to, you know, working on all this. Ooh, check this out. Our parsnips have turned over. Okay, so we're getting lots of... Oh my god, crap. I'm not getting any... There were no gold parsnips. That's... This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, so, um, what I need to do now, basically, is just water up all of my strawberries and whatnot here, but I also need to go back over to the general store, buy another 12 parsnips, and I should probably use that fertilizer to see, uh, to speed growth. Uh, I say probably, I don't know if I actually will, because I'm looking for gold parsnips, and I have, um, I have eight days left of the, uh, of the season, so... I mean... I, I mean, seasons take a long time to turn back around, so what I really need to do is, you know, get my butt in gear and get this taken care of. So, I need a gold, uh, a gold star parsnips. So, we'll have to take care of that. Look at that, we've also got mail, so we'll go ahead and uh, sort this out. Looks like we got another potato? That's, it's a potato. So, there's that. Let's see. William, I found this recipe in a magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Hehe. <laughs> Shane. Uh pepper poppers. I'm gonna need a freaking upgrade to, uh, to this place before I'm gonna be able to do that. Okay, so we've got two gold parsnips, which is better than nothing. Um, we'll go ahead and deposit those into the chest. I'm gonna go ahead and put the potatoes into my chest over here, I guess. And, um, we're gonna put the copper bar and the, uh, the watering can away. But I've got the money for a backpack upgrade, so I've, I've got time, and I've got the ability. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the backpack upgrade. I also don't have the copper in order to do any additional upgrades to my uh, materials and whatnot. Help wanted, I'm looking for someone to bring 30 copper ores to aid in the understanding of local minerals. 300 gold on delivery. You can keep the ores after Clint inspects them. Oh, crap! Oh, sh oh boy. That's a bit of a problem. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go down into the mines. Um, we're gonna need more parsnip seeds. Ooh, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and uh, purchase the backpack upgrade. Additional slots. We've got 800 gold. Um, so, 
now we'll buy 12 parsnip seeds. All right, everyone, it's mine time. We're going down to level 20, and we're going to see how this pans out. Probably not all that amazingly for me, but I got to give it a shot anyway. Uh, we are after copper. That is our primary uh, purpose of being here. Um, I didn't try to find Leia, ultimately, because uh, or Leah, or however you say her name, because uh, it, it just didn't really serve too much of a purpose. So, um, looks like I'm down here for the hard way. Uh... So that's one. Stupid rock monster. Got him. All right, so um, we don't want to leave any floor unexplored. Crap. Oh, we can break these down now. Ah, he got me. Damn. All right. Well, we've got uh, we've got the food. Oh crap! I am not bu I'm not bugging with them. Ooh. Just looking for the copper. Just give me the copper, and we'll be on our way. I don't really care about the bug uh, the monsters this time around. I'm sorry to stumble into your home and cause you this type of trouble, but are there any copper veins up here? Please give me copper. Give me copper. Oh my god! I found an omni geode. I've heard that these are kind of rare. Which, uh, I don't know, I mean... Found some mixed seeds. That's not bad. Ooh, found the stairs. Alright, let's take the ladder down. Get rid of the slimes. Do, doing the monster mash. It's what I do every single time I come down here. I do the monster mash. Um, please, give me some more copper. That's the whole reason why I'm down here. Just copper, copper, copper. Kappa Kappa? Ah. Oh. Alright, fine. You be like that. Alright, bug boy. You're gonna force me to do this. Gotcha. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm finding my footing on all this stuff, you know? Don't worry about it. More mixed seeds, wow. All right, don't want them turning into freaking flyers. It never turns out well for me. God, so many of these damn things. Wow, we we getting any really good stuff in these uh, containers here? Not the geode. That's not bad. A little bit of copper. I got 15 copper. I got 16 copper. Okay, I'm more than halfway there. Now all I gotta do is find my way down to the next level. I think I'm one more level off from finding the, uh, finding the next elevator door. I'm getting MLG Pro skills at this. Oh, we found the next level! Well, that's great! Okay, so the next step is to, uh, just try to find more copper veins down here. I'm spending my whole day down in the mines again. And it's not even raining outside. Crying out loud. Okay, let's try to find the exit. Alright, I saw some copper behind me. And it is getting late. It's getting quite late. I'd better, I'd better clean, uh, finish up here. Alright, there we go. There's another one. There we go. Ooh, I got a crab! <gasps> a crab! Holy crap, that means that I can finish another one of the freaking bundles over at the community center! This is amazing. I'll have to wait until tomorrow to do it, but... Come on. Jeez. Get out of here. You stupid monsters. Alright, this means that I'm gonna have to spend another day down in the mines tomorrow uh, in order to get my hands on enough copper, it would appear. Don't. 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 Don't you dare. God's sake. Okay, um, so I'm basically out of time at this point. I'm only two levels further down, I think. Um, let's go back, find the ladder. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go home. Um, oh, well. I could check over here. How am I? I've still got space in my inventory. I can check the rest of the level out very, very quickly. But I'm not going down again. I've gotta go up. Of course, then again, it is possible for me to go straight down and then go back up. Crap. All right. Um, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. 
taking leaving the mine we're getting out all right then that's everything let's go ahead and hit the sack just in time before i pass out completely let's go to sleep for the night yes and let's get a breakdown thank you very much for watching everyone this is stardew valley um i've had a whole lot of fun playing this i hope you guys are enjoying watching it uh i'll see you guys later in the next episode but until then <laughs>